Former gubernatorial Democratic candidates Tina Sablon and Leila Staffler are now working in the administration they ran against last year. We're hitting milestones that um, really speak to the uh, values that we had and, and to the platform that we, we started out with. And, and honestly, we just wanted to serve. And so here we are, we're still serving. Sablon is a volunteer senior policy advisor and Staffler is the Secretary of Labor. When the election reached a runoff between former Republican Governor Ralph Torres and then Lieutenant Governor Arno Palacios, Democrats formed a coalition to support the independent ticket. That support came with a unity pledge inked in November filled with promises for policy priorities that both teams share. It included opening up the Commonwealth's financial books, restoring the integrity of law enforcement agencies, establishing a robust workforce development program, and completing long-delayed disaster recovery and infrastructure development projects. Election reform is one area that I, I do think um, it, we, we need to pursue more actively. Um, and just a few weeks ago, I, I was talking to the deputy AG about um, you know, working more closely with the Election Commission uh, to make sure that we have standard operating procedures in place. This is a long-standing recommendation of OPA uh, to finally get SOPs in place for elections so that things are smoother and there are fewer issues and people have more confidence in the process. Uh, and this is an off year, so this would be the time to uh, start working on those SOPs. Meanwhile, both Sablon and Staffler say they won't be running for office in the upcoming election. However, they won't completely rule it out in the future. While working for the Palacios Apatang administration, who are former Republicans turned independents, the former candidates tell us they're still Democrats. We definitely want to continue to grow the party and, and, and build interest with new candidates. The Democratic Party is here to stay. It remains to be seen if the Unity Pledge will hold beyond the next election. Tomas Maglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.